so this is part two is just additional thoughts about Vouch, Hassan, and Destiny. If you've ever seen these guys' streams just for like a minute, do you see these guys running street to street, house to house, with a firearm fighting the fascist forces? Do you like do you see Vouch's fat ass? putting his life on the line. Do you see Hassan Piker putting his life on the line in a revolution style setting? And this is where it's so fucking funny because it's online machismo bullshit. All three of these guys are from privileged families. You know, at least with Antifa or most Antifa members, I will say this. I respect them. Because they're at least willing to be out there setting shit on fire and breaking windows. And at least pushing back on fascists, okay? So, they're out there at, at least putting some risk on it. And even though with as one-sided as the Department of Justice is, and, and the, the angle of how they handle Antifa with, like, kid gloves, more times than not, they're at least out there risking their lives... Or their well-being on the line for what they believe in. Uh, you you have uh, I forgot what they call them weather underground or or it's some stupid <laughs> some stupid larpy name in Alabama where they were like trying to sound fire some police training ground. So at least they they have that one tenth strength and, and like energy of a revolution. But even with that, that's money motivated by George Soros. And even that's bullshit. So, when it comes to Vouch, Piker, and Destiny, again, I don't know if they actually put their money towards political aims or nonprofits. And I don't even know if they recycled that to aid the proletariat. Um, I, I would literally eat my hat. If either one of these three guys were actually supporting the proletariat and their political bullshit, but they're not. Uh, it's like with Nick Fuentes, Ethan Ralph. Ethan Ralph one time said he's done more for the white man than anyone else, and that guy hasn't contributed shit to anyone. And same thing with Nick Fuentes. Again, Nick Fuentes from a privileged family. So if it's one thing I'm trying to tie in here is that people buy these guys' bullshit hook, line, and sinker. They click into every show. They they watch hours upon hours of these dumb charlatan fucks, and they donate their hard-earned money to them. And what are these, what are these personas going to do for them? Nothing, because it's all bullshit. It's Matrix bullshit. They're not going to go out. They literally care for no one else except lining their own pockets. So that's the, the main factor to start off. The second thing is, too, I, I've mentioned it before, and I'll mention it here in this part, is they, their fanatics are going to justify uh, the expenses, the donos, uh, them donating their blood, sweat, and tears to a charlatan that, again, would sell their souls for a Klondike bar. And more than likely, it's probably safe to say that even with an Antifa, communists, uh, radicals, and even some of the fascist neo-Nazi types, they're probably all infiltrated by the FBI, federal government, or the CIA. In fact, most of those are probably all glow up like honeypot bullshit. And, and none of these guys are ever going to do anything. Because they can't even get out in the street. Have you seen Vouch, Piker, or Destiny actually out there protesting? You know, at least with the Trump and MAGA people and those some of those grifters, at least they're out there in the streets getting the word out, making connections, making their voices heard. And same thing with the Antifa and some of the other bluegrass liberal bullshit groups. At least they're out there making their message known and they're actually doing something about it. But th these guys are all just... They're scum bottom trash. 
and, and what do they contribute to their political idealism? Jack and shit. F- fuck all. I, I would almost have respect for them <laughs> if they actually had the balls to, to actually be out there and being retroactive in their ideologies. Maybe maybe getting involved in grassroots organizations or, or community organizing or crap like this. But it's all a LARP. And that's it for this second part. And, um, yeah, <laughs> they make a comfortable living doing it. Now, see, I have a conscience and a soul. Like, it, it would be so easy just to be one of these, like, fucking charlatans. Like, and they're living comfortable, too. They're, like, making just thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even millions, ripping off these dumb, gullible bastards. But then again, you can't fault them for it. You know, if there's people dumb enough to contribute to a charlatan, a hireling, a false prophet, a a a carpetbagger, then that's on them. So, something to be said there. Uh, anyways, that's it.